Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix HDR footage and get it working on an SDR timeline. So HDR is a setting which is available on say something like an iPhone, which is the footage I've got here. And if you try to import this into an SDR timeline on DaVinci Resolve, it's going to look really washed out. So these colors don't really look very good to me. They're, they're very pale, very overexposed and washed out. And that's because I'm trying to make this into an SDR video. So I've got lots of clips here which are a mixture of SDR, HDR, and other cameras. And uh, I kind of want to have this footage, but I don't want it to be this kind of white overblown uh, and pale footage. I want the colors to look correct as if I filmed it on SDR. And there are a couple of ways to do this. You can do it on a project basis and you can do this on a timeline basis, but I'm gonna show you how to do this on a clip by clip basis. So this is gonna make it easier to manage, especially if you've got multiple kinds of footage here. And you can kind of see here, the result that we wanna get is this one here on the right, where it looks a lot more natural. Here on the left, the HDR is all washed out on the SDR timeline. On the right here, this SDR side is looking a hell of a lot better. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and try to achieve today. So to do this, it's pretty straightforward. What I'm gonna do is to select our clip, and then we're gonna go to the Open FX filter here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and search for Space Color Transform. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this into our clip. So once that effect is inserted here, we can go to the inspector and click on effects. And then we're gonna have this color space transform available here. So under input color space, we don't wanna use timeline settings. We want to select rec 2020. And then input gamma, we want to go ahead and select rec 2100 HLG. So select this one. Already you can see this is looking a lot more natural. Output color space, we wanna scroll down here, rec 709, so that's SDR. And then output gamma, we want to use gamma 2.4. So these are settings that I pulled from this Black Magic forum. So this is quite interesting. So I'll leave a link to this forum post in the description. You can play around with the output gamma as well. So for example, 2.4 is a little bit bright. 2.2 is a little bit less. You can also just turn it off and that might look slightly better actually, to be honest not changing the output gamma too much on this particular clip. That's basically looking a lot better now. Now I wanna put these clips side by side. I'm just gonna full screen this. And uh, basically you'll see the one on the right on your SDR screen right now is looking a lot more natural. See here, the skin tones are a lot better. It's still a little bit overblown. So you might wanna turn the gamma down on that, but uh, it's looking a lot more like an SDR clip. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.